Good morning and welcome to Falcon TV. It's Thursday, October 22nd, 2020. I'm Nadia along with the rest of the FTV crew. Chromebooks have become increasingly popular in both schools and businesses in recent years, but they still carry a bit of stigma when it comes to software compatibility. There are a lot of apps you can get on a Mac or Windows PC that you can't use on a Chromebook. That changes in a pretty massive way this week as Google and Parallels are announcing Windows virtualization support for Chrome OS. This means that provided, provided you have a Chromebook with the right specs, you will be able to run Windows apps side by side with everything else in Chrome OS. If you're interested in this potentially big expansion of what your computer can do, there are a few things you need to know. For now, Windows slash Parallels support is only available for Chromebooks enrolled in an enterprise setting. Basically, if a program manages a Chromebook and deploys it out to others, such as technology administrators, then they can enable Parallels and push out an update to install a specific virtual Windows machine to the organization. Also, given what Parallels is attempting to do here, the minimum specs for using Windows on Chrome OS are pretty high but it's a start and it will make the laptops a lot more versatile down the road. Your voice is your vote and it has the power to make our democracy stronger. Vote in the elections on Tuesday, November 3rd and let your voice be heard. As if COVID-19 wasn't bad enough, a new virus has been discovered in Zambia and this one is far worse. A new strand of the old world arena virus. This, one, this new strand is a distant relative of two old world arena viruses known to be pathogenic for humans. Lassa virus, which is common in Western Africa, and lymphocytic choriomeningitis. LCM virus, which can be found worldwide, but neither LCM nor the Lassa fever virus has been has ever been found in Southern Africa. The newly discovered virus is now the third old world arena virus species known to cause a severe and frequently fatal infection in humans. Arena viruses are broadly divided into two groups, new world arena viruses found in the Americas and old world arena viruses found in Africa. Both are associated with rodents and have co-evolved with them. Rodents are common in villages in Western Africa and therefore humans exposure to the virus can be frequent. Those who were exposed to it developed flu-like symptoms after about 10 hours and within 5 days died. Fortunately, those exposed were contained and there has not been another outbreak. A reminder that student portraits are taking place all this week during phys ed classes in the Blue Floor Gym. However, for the senior portraits, a schedule was sent out by the yearbook advisor and all in-person students should have a pass with their time on it. But in case they lost it or are not sure when or where their portraits are, t are taking place, all senior portraits will be held in the auditorium and staff pictures typically take place in the gym. However, if you already have a picture from last year on file having your picture taken for staff this year is only optional. So for me and everyone here at Falcon TV, have a great day. Thank you.